Hi everybody, this is Meg from AIM Fitness Online and I'm here with Little Fit Finley. And today we are gonna be focusing on some heart health exercises. So if you are someone who's been told you have a heart condition, maybe you have diabetes, or maybe you find that you're just not in great health, you really wanna make some improvements, I'm going to give you three exercises today that you can do to get started. All right, so our very first exercise we're gonna begin with involves the chair. So whether you're sitting on a chair, or whether you're on a couch, this one can be done very easily. So we're gonna sit right on the edge of your chair, shoulders back, and if this is your first time doing the sit to stand, you can place your hands on your knees or even push off from the chair. Or if you're a little bit more advanced and you've done this with me before, then bring your arms across your chest. All right, so I'll go with this first option. We're gonna be pressing into those legs and standing tall, and then sit back down on that chair. So when we think about heart health, we really wanna think about working our body. We want to be working up a little bit of a sweat, pushing ourselves just a little bit further. And exercising regularly, and especially doing these exercises that I suggest you do, um, can really help you lower and reduce that blood pressure. It can help to stabilize your blood sugar levels if you are someone with diabetes. And it can help uh, increase your stamina so you can go a little bit further as well. All right, so if this one is easy, you want to lift those arms, try it across your chest just like this. Slowly lower into that chair. And this is a really good exercise as well to help you get out of a chair more easily. Awesome, let's continue breathing in and out. Good, let's go for three. You're doing a great job. And two. Good, one more time. All right, and have a seat. All right, good, let's stretch it out. Let's take those arms side to side. Good, remember to keep those shoulders back. Sit tall, this is a good, uh, good um, habit to build, to sit a little bit straighter in your chair and not leaning against the back of your chair. All right, good, so for our next exercise, we're gonna move that chair to the side. We're gonna be focusing on something different. So I'm just gonna move my chair over here, watch little Fit Finley, hello puppy. So if you are looking to improve your cardiovascular strength, and if you want to be able to walk a little bit further, then the best way to do it is by walking. So that's exercise number two. So I want you to march it out, march on the spot. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna travel in a few different directions. Now, if you've got stairs in your house or in your apartment, I do suggest going up and down the stairs a few times every day, because that as well can really be good for your heart. But for today, we're gonna be marching on the spot. So what I want you to focus on is really swinging those arms and lifting the knees a little bit higher. Now you may find that as you continue, that you feel a little bit out of breath. So just pace yourself, you don't wanna to go too fast. All right, now I invite you to join me. We're gonna travel forwards and backwards. So here we go, we're gonna travel forwards and then back. Now look over your shoulder so you know where you're going. Make sure you have lots of space beside you and behind you especially. Good. So I know many people who watch my, my videos who've told me that they do different ways, they do different forms of, uh, of walking. One woman, um, she likes to walk around her carport and she does that many times a day while listening to some music. And then I know there's others who like to go up and down their stairs while they're waiting for their food to warm up in the microwave. So there's all sorts of ways to fit it into your day. One more time, traveling forwards, might feel that heart going. And back. All right, great job. Now for our last exercise, we're gonna focus on using weights. So using resistance, whether that's bands or weights, or even doing push-ups on the wall can really help you to also improve your heart health. All right, grab those weights. And if you don't have any, you can use canned goods or even a water bottle too. 
So we're gonna be doing a combination exercise. We're gonna take both weights up to your shoulder and then we're gonna press both arms over your head. Lower down and then bend your arms to, and straighten them down beside you. So breathe in and out. Good, nice and easy here. Now, if you're a beginner and you want to just do one arm at a time, you can do it just like this. And then do the second arm after. All right, now many of you say, say things like, Meg, where do I buy weights? Or what can I use if I don't have uh, weights? So like I mentioned, you can definitely use water bottles. I use uh, cans with some of my clients. And I know uh, if you have a bottle of liquid something, as long as it doesn't leak, you can use that too. All right, so let's do one more on each side. So I hope you're feeling great. Hope you are feeling your heart rate going up a little bit. Just know that that is a good thing. It's really important to challenge our bodies and to feel good as well. All right, excellent. So you can put those weights to the side. And we're going to end with a few deep breaths here. Let's bring your arms out to the side, inhale. And give yourself a big hug, exhale. In and out. And one more time. All right, thank you everybody for joining me. Now make sure you leave a comment below. Leave a thumbs up as well. Let me know where you're watching from today. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Go to the bell, press it, because that way you'll be notified every time I, I upload a new video. All right, great to see you. Good job today. We'll see you again soon. Bye.